everybody. Thank you for checking out this video today. We're going to go over a company that I have used for a very long time. I've made several videos about, but it's been quite a while since I've had a dedicated video and I thought it'd be good timing. And this company is BABC. Now, if you're excited to hear what is new from this company, real quick, hit a thumbs up on this YouTube video for me and let's jump right in. This is one of the very first beard product companies in the United States of America. They were started by a guy by the name of Charlie, and if I remember correctly, he was active duty when he started this company and is now a veteran of the United States of America. Now, he has grown this company from the ground up. He has built a facility. He has grown a team around him that are all veterans. This company is not only veteran owned, but it's veteran operated and it's all made in house. They actually do this, all put it together. And if you don't know already, this company does offer free samples. You just have to cover shipping. Great way to get introduced to them if you're worried about if it's gonna work for you or not, or if it's worth it, or any questions that you guys have. Now, this is an affiliate of mine very proud of that and what that means is if you use my link or my code there is a kickback or a commission on sales I'm always open and transparent but I use this stuff I love this stuff I'm very involved with this company as I'll kind of talk about today I'll put the code up over here but it is Dan C 23 got a nice little ring to it and that's gonna save you guys 15% off if you want to purchase something from them and support the platform and save money it's a win-win for everybody so we got a couple of new things, a product that I haven't talked about, and then three new scents. We're gonna start off, we got two permanent lineup scents, and then one that's just a little bit different, and that was actually what the little like sticker is for here, and this is the Havana Haze. Now I do have a little cheat sheet on some notes like the scent profiles, and I believe they call this their second small batch complete kit. Now if you buy this, I'm pretty positive it's all or nothing. And at the time of this video dropping, it's gonna be close to the end of this little limited run. Now I'm leaving this video up, of course, cause we're gonna have some permanent items, but I wanna hit this one first in case anybody's like, oh man, that sounds great, I wanna snag it. And in this kit, you get, you get with this one and it goes for right now, $79.99 in a value of over $100. You, you save a ton of money when it's all bundled together. And this includes beard oil, balm, butter, hog wash, which is a wash that's a gentle daily, you can use it on your beard, your head hair, your body, and conditioner, and then the limited edition sticker that you guys see right here. So you're getting the whole kit when you're getting this scent here, and it is one of those limited edition ones that they're building in hand. There are other scents they're, they're still doing, it's still this company, but this one is just a much smaller quantity, much more kind of craft-like. And the scent profile that we have for this bad boy is teakwood, tropical fruit, and mildly sweet tobacco. Teakwood, tropical fruit, and mildly sweet tobacco. Now if you're like me and you're like, uh, Dan, I don't really know what that's going to smell like. I've never really had anything like that. Yeah, you're not alone. I don't know if that profile exists anywhere else in the world except right here. And it's nice. It's, it's nice. <laughs> it's very smooth. It is not an overpowering or over aggressive scent. It just smells natural. There is definitely some sweetness to it. There's some earthy notes to it. And above all, it's summery, it's light, it's refreshing, it's sweet, it's wonderful. One more time on that scent profile for you guys. Teakwood, tropical fruit, and mildly sweet tobacco. Now, I'm not the best at describing something like teakwood. To me, it's like a, a spicier wood. It's a sophisticated wood, and then you have the fruit in there. That's the star of the show for me. I get that fruitiness. I get that citrusness with it still smelling natural. Not smelling like it's a, a cheap candle fragrance or anything like that. It's not cough syrup. It's natural. It's light. It's really good. Absolutely enjoyable with this scent here. And again, that is a limited one with all those things that, that come in it. If you've tried it, it's been out for a, a hot minute now, please leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts. Good, bad, other. If it's the greatest scent of all time, let us know. If you did not like it and you passed it on to your father, your neighbor, whoever, let us know. Or if it's just good, we want to hear that as well. You guys drop comments down below so they can hear. All right. Now we've got two permanent lineup scents that we have added with BABC. And the lineup goes, a normal beard oil goes for $17.99. 
well within that market average. You add 15% off on there, what, that's another $2 off? That's a great deal. We're talking about in the $15 range for one ounce of quality American-made veteran-owned beard oil. Not bad, not bad. And they do have a new product. This is their, what they're gonna call their utility cologne, their utility cologne. And I'm not the biggest cologne guy in the world, but I had to test it out, right? I had to give it a go. This lasted me over 24 hours on my fragrance, on my fragrance, on my fabric. Now, how do I know that? I wore my shirt, I purposely put it next to my bed so the next morning when I woke up, I could smell it and I could still smell this fragrance on here. So if you're looking for something that can go on a shirt, can go on your pillowcase, can go in the room, it's a utility one. You can use it any way you see fitting. If you like these scents and you want them longer, you want them stronger, this is a great addition. Now let's talk about the two new scents that we have. The first one that we're gonna go over is the Pharaoh. And real quick, one thing that I really enjoy, and I hope other companies kind of listen up to this, not to copy, but just to get inspiration, I love that they have brand recognition. You see these bottles, you immediately know BABC, but the details show the different scents. They use like just different little graphics there, like, hey, let's add some sunglasses to the horse. Hey, let's add in the fake, the fake Egyptian beard to the horse, or to the donkey, did I say horse, oh my gosh, <laughs> to the donkey. That's gonna be something that shows there's differences, but you still have that brand recognition. Very well done. All right, so the first one is the Pharaoh, and this one is caramel, sandalwood, and powdery musk. Now with both of these two permanent scents, I had the honor and privilege of being able to help when they were still testers, when they were still being made, and I gave my original feedback, and to give this company credit, they listened at least a little bit, you don't gotta listen to me, but they took it in, they made some adjustments, and I'm so happy with the final product. Before it was good, the testers were really good, but I just said, hey, Consider this perspective with kind of the market that I know. And they said, you know what, man? That's fantastic feedback. Let's whip some up and let's get them out to you. I said, oh yeah. Because anybody that watches this channel, you're probably like, ooh, Dan and Sandalwood, that might not get along very well. There's something in here that they did that blends it so, I didn't even check, like, I don't get Sandalwood out of this. One more time on our scent profile for the Pharaoh. Caramel, Sandalwood, and Powdery Musk. Okay, we can, we can know what caramel smells like. Most of you know what sandalwood smells like. Powdery musk. Musk gives it a cologne-ness. Powdery gives it kind of a little bit of a bounce. And I believe that's what kind of tames the sandalwood. You get that nice caramel smoothness. Sandalwood is almost a little kind of bitter to me at times, a little bit spicy, but not in a great way like teakwood spicy. And so I was worried. And on the original version, I did smell a lot of sandalwood. But this one just kind of, I don't know if it was the powder or what, it's really enjoyable. I would call this a dry scent, if that makes sense to you, no pun intended. It's definitely dry. It's very manly. You get that upfront, that powdery musk, and then you really smell. And as the day progresses, the caramel comes out more and more. It's manly, it's smooth, and it's really nice. I really like this one. It's not a love, it's not a crave. I like the haze a little bit better, but it is still really, really enjoyable, especially for a sandalwood scent. Now to my favorite. I know you should probably lead with your favorite right hook everybody while they're here, but this is just the order I went in, and this would be the surfer. No surprise that the cologne that I have, I only have the one here, is of the Surfer because I really, really like this one. Some profile on the Surfer is mango, fruit, and beech wood. Come on now. Come for, oh guys. Yeah, that mango is very unique. I can't really think of many scent profiles that have mango as the star of the show. And then you add in some other fruits in there. I get orange that really comes out of it, so nice. And then the beech wood. If you guys have ever smelled driftwood, I live in Michigan. We have driftwood all over the shores of Lake Michigan, Lake Huron. This is what it smells like. It's crispy, it's fresh, it's really, really, and when I say crispy, not like it can break, like, ah, like it's just, that would be the best way I could describe this one. But it definitely, to me, if you were to say, hey, what does this smell like? It's a, it's a mango fruit kind of citrus scent, but not anything that smells like an alcoholic drink. It doesn't exactly even smell like super tropical or anything like that. It's just pure mango with some nice beech wood that's thrown in there and then that smooth orange in the background. 
I love this one. This is a daily wear one for me. If you like tropical, if you like citrus, if you like it, this is unlike any one you've ever had. Like I said, it's not super tropical, but if you like tropical, you're probably gonna like it. It's not super citrus, but if you like citrus, you're probably gonna like it. This one is an absolute banger and I am so happy it's in the permanent lineup and it does really well with this spray. I can spray a whole room and it's not gonna be any scent that's offensive to anyone. This is one that can do well in the house. If you guys have an oil diffuser, I literally take this and do a couple of sprays into our, our diffuser. Fantastic to light a room up. So they killed it. Oh, and by the way too, if you haven't seen, they have really cool packaging. They put some of their things in these little velvet pouches here. Even the free the free samples come in this. And then you get things like in here, uh, which is this beard balm. Now, I don't wear beard balm, but they have a good, I would say medium to medium firm hold. It's not the strongest hold in the world, but it's definitely not soft or light. Medium to medium firm hold on the balm. And then their butter is really light, really nourishing, melts down immediately, and is so good for the beard. I really love what this company is doing from the free samples to introduce people to being veteran owned to just doing stuff the right way in house to having a super cool owner that I've had the chance to get to know over the years. Absolutely full recommendation for you guys. Let me know your experiences with this company, your thoughts. I know a lot of you have tried them. Let's let people know out there. And most importantly, do you have any questions? I will respond to every single one and do my best to answer. If I can't come up with the answer, I'll try to reach out to the company. I'll try to direct you in the right place. I got you guys. Thank you for watching today. My name is Dan C. Bearded. Please stay bearded and stay positive.